Moving averages are the main indicators used to help determine the existence and the strength of a trend. CTrader features five types of moving averages, simple, exponential, triangular, time series, and weighted. Each of these formulas produce slightly different results. We'll first look at how they're used and explain the differences between them at the end of the video. Let's first switch from the default platform layout to the charts layout so we can get a better view. Now let's start by plotting a simple moving average. When drawing any moving average, you need to input just two parameters, source and periods. Source determines which trend bar data will be used for the calculation. You can choose from high, low, close and open. Periods determines how many trend bars will be used for the calculation. So drawing a 14 period moving average using close as the source in a one hour chart will add all the close prices of the last 14 candles at every point of the hour chart and divide them by 14. The points are plotted and automatically connected with a line resulting in the moving average you see here. Now let's plot a 50 period moving average to see the difference. If you've already plotted one moving average, you can use it as a source of any subsequent moving averages you plot, but we'll stick to close as a source here. Let's type 50 into the periods field and make it yellow so we can see the difference. Notice how the 14 period moving average stays closer to the price because it's calculating fewer time periods and so it's faster to react to price change. The 50 period moving average stays much further away. These two moving averages can give us a lot of information about current price action. The fast blue moving average crossing above the slow moving average indicates an uptrend while the fast-moving average crossing below the slow-moving average indicates a downtrend. You'll notice how the distance between the 14 and 50 period moving averages increases when the trend strengthens and decreases when the trend is exhausting. When there's no trend, the two moving averages are scrambled. Finally, notice how the price-moving average often retraces the 50 period moving average before resuming the trend. These are the most typical ways traders use moving averages to determine trends. Now let's go briefly over the different moving average types. The simple moving average, this blue line, is the most basic of moving averages. It simply takes the value of the source of each candle and divides by the number of periods. It's used for a smoother view of choppy markets. The exponential moving average, in yellow here, is commonly used by professionals. It gives more weight to more recent time periods. The weighting factor decreases exponentially with all the data. The weighted red moving average also applies weights to the values, but the weights increases by one and not exponentially. The triangular moving average in purple is calculated twice, once as a simple moving average and once again using the first result for the second calculation, so the line it produces is double smoothed. Finally, the time series moving average uses linear regression techniques to plot its line. 